This is a praise training portal video tutorial on how to define your own communicators in MPI. So far you have learned how to carry out communication using point-to-point -point operations and collective operations. For algorithms which feature collective communication patterns, it is often beneficial to communicate only within a subgroup of MPI tasks instead of the whole MPI com world. MPI provides a set of routines for defining and manipulating custom communicators. Let us recap on the concept of the MPI communicator. The communicator is a communication universe given as an input argument to most of MPI communication procedures. Within it, the source and the destination of a message is identified by the process rank, while we usually operate within the communicator MPI com world, which encompasses all available MPI processes, it is quite often beneficial to define new communicators representing subgroups of these processes. Examples of these cases include task level parallelism with process groups performing separate duties together, realizing parallel input output with dedicated I.O. tasks, and improving scalability by avoiding unnecessary synchronization. As an example, we could group these four ranks in MPI COM world and form a new communicator, let's just call it COM1. Please note that the numbering restarts from zero. This means that the task will be assigned a different rank ID in COM1 when compared to their IDs in MPI COM world. Let us point out that the communicators are dynamic. They are thus created and destroyed during program runtime. A task can simultaneously belong to several communicators. In each communicator, it has a unique rank ID. There are several approaches in MPI which allow you to define and create new communicators. We will present one of them here, based on the MPI com split routine. It takes an existing communicator and generates a set of new communicators by splitting them according to a provider criterion. We will need to provide a communicator from which to generate a new communicator, MPI com mod for example, but it can be an earlier user defined communicator as well. The second required input argument is the group to which the calling rank will be placed in. The important trick here is that if a rank has this argument equal to a reserved constant MPI undefined, it will not belong to any of the new communicators generated by MPI com split. The third input argument is key, according to which ranks are numbered in the new communicator. For instance, having a key equal to the rank ID in the old communicator will preserve the order of the ranks. In other words, this argument can be used for process renumbering if necessary. The output after a completed call will provide a communicator handle and this can be used in any MPI routine which requires a communicator as input. As an example, let's consider the case of generating two new communicators, one from processes that have an odd rank ID in MPI com world and another from processes with an even rank ID. First, we will need to set the color according to these goals like this. Then we will just call MPI com split, retaining the order of the ranks as shown here. Let us finally demonstrate this by just checking and printing out the rank numbers in the new communicator. As you can see, defining your own communicators is very straightforward and may prove to be useful when developing your MPI application.